Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to a quick video. Just gonna talk about Cloud EX and all the EX medals coming out. I gotta go to work today. I work 11 hours, so I'm not gonna be able to post a video on any of the events, the banner, anything going on today. I'm not gonna be able to do right away. So sorry about that. I will have a guide out soon. I just wanted to quickly go over before Cloud hits. You guys don't need to pull for Cloud. Cloud is a broken metal. He's really good. If you get extra copies and extra attack on it, ridiculous. If you get negative 60% with that on both of them, absolutely crazy broken metal. Now, I understand that a broken metal should be really good on every Keyblade because that way it's always going to be used. Yes, that is a hugely game-changing broken metal. Like, Kyrie's really good. Um, metals like the Sephiroth, World Final Fantasy, Sephiroth, World Final Fantasy Cloud. Any of the World Final Fantasy metals were really good because it was super effective to all the tributes when they came out. Those were game-changing metals. Metals that affect every Keyblade is a game-changing metal. But when you have a metal that is, I think, like 500 defense and 500 strength more, it has more strength than any other metal in the game at the moment. Another thing is that it buffs and debuffs by three tiers, which is almost half of the tier requirement at the moment. Its multiplier is huge, it's AoE, and it fits on Fenrir's last slot at 2.9. Now, saying that, Axel EX is coming out in this month. It should be this month, should be like of 30 days the most, it should be, but it is the next metal to come up there is metals between it that's going to come out but it is the next ex metal to come out and it's very close by and that metal does one hit and the same thing as cloud but for speed so a good high score challenge metal fits in the divine rose 3.0 slot and later on another keyblaze 3.2 slot i believe so axel ex guys is actually really like a better choice especially for free to play players who are saving up and wanting to compete in high score challenges Axel EX is actually a lot better, but doesn't mean Cloud's not broken. Cloud's broken, Axel EX is broken, a lot of these metals are broken, but everything gets replaced. So even if I tell you guys, hey, don't pull for Cloud because Sephiroth, by the time we get Sephiroth, JP's going to get something else that's actually really, really good compared to Sephiroth because tier 6s will be a common thing and those buffs and debuffs will become something else on another metal or better. And then we're going to be like, oh, we're not going to pull for Sephiroth because this metal is coming out. I understand that it's a vicious cycle, but you guys got to realize what is really good and what's not good. Like pulling for these Aqua banners, this Mickey banner, and Key Art A banner. You guys pulled for it. A lot of people pulled for it. A lot of people said it was good. They are good, but Cloud EX is so much better. I understand it's just power, but it's really good. But again, the video is to say that don't pull for Cloud EX if you guys want Axel EX. Axel EX is a lot better. It's got that one hit. And it does it for speed. So Divine Rose, if you guys have a level 30 Divine Rose, which is not hard to get, it has a 3.0 multiplier. It sits at the end of the Keyblade. And you can copy it with Nominee on the second last slot if you guys have Nominee. So Axel EX is actually a better metal to go for, but doesn't mean that this metal is bad either. Now the way to judge this is if Cloud EX comes with a Mercy Pull, I recommend that people pull for it, okay? Now I understand that there are better metals coming, but if one of these EX medals actually become Mercy Pull, it's a go for because in JP, Cloud was a 20 Mercy Pull, which is huge. If we get a 20 Mercy Pull, I would say don't do it. But if we get like a 10 Mercy Pull or something decent, or the rates are really good, well, just a Mercy Pull. If they get a Mercy Pull, then yeah, because the JP, they don't have Mercy Pulls for these medals. These medals come 5 Orbit, I believe, in JP. I could be wrong. We might get that too. But. The thing is, there is no Mercy Pull for it, so it's like a Jewel Sink. You can waste all your jewels like I did for Nominate and not get anything. But if you see one of these medals get a Mercy Pull, I would go for it. I don't care if there's another medal coming out later in a couple months that's better. This medal is not going to be like, oh, well, that's useless. If I have Cloud EX and someone has a Sephiroth EX, yes, they're going to be doing a little bit better. But I'm going to still pass content with my Cloud EX. I'm still going to be competing with my Cloud EX. So... Whatever one comes out with a Mercy Pull, that's the one you guys should be going for. Because you don't know if the next one's going to have a Mercy Pull or not. And also, if you're not paying for the game or... Well, that's it. If you're not paying for the game, you're not getting all these extra jewels, and you're saving up. 0.2 Kyrie, guys. you got to save up for that. Now, all these medals look really good. Cloud EX, Axel EX, a lot of medals in between, like uh, the Air Bound uh, Bond and the other one. I forget what it's called. But yeah, there is a lot of medals in between the Kyrie medal that's going to come out that look really good but Kyrie is a huge 
game-changing metal for a lot of people, especially if you're free to play, if you don't have a time six extra attack buffer, like my illustrated Bell and Beast, or a lot of people's time six strength buffers, that metal is going to change your game greatly. Like, even me, if I grab that metal, it has a little extra buffs on it. Even though I have illustrated Bell and Beast, she still will be good. So, if you don't pay for the game, and you want to get a really good medal guaranteed, I would always say 15,000 jewels or just save all your jewels and just wait. But if 0.2 Kyrie is not a mercy pull either, then you guys waited for nothing. So make your decisions. Everything you do is really important. All I can say is that if Kyrie is not a mercy pull and you skipped out on all these medals, you're hindering your gameplay and when events come out, you're like, I can't pass this and that's because you're not keeping up. You have to focus on one thing and that is either a good setup or a good all-rounded setup. So when you look at banners and you see the pulls, make sure it helps all your Keyblade setups if you're trying to do that, or try to get one specific setup really strong and then make another one really strong. And that's how you guys should look at it. But I just wanted to make this video quickly, hopefully it uploads before I have to go to work. <laughs> that's pretty much everything, guys. Again, Cloudy X, really good, but actually X is gonna be better. Just go for the one that's not or go for the one that is a mercy pull. That's all I gotta say guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.